Equestria Daily finds, collects, and features the best fan-made pony content, making it easier for you to find. Visit us to find art, pony news, video games, music, PMVs, plushies, animation, interviews, episode follow-ups, Trixie, fanfiction, cosplay, merchandise, propaganda, polls, editorials. Visit EquestriaDaily.com today. Hey everybody, what's up? Ultramag64 here, and today, guys, I bring you something a little different. Now, if you've been around the channel long enough, you'll know that I am a huge fan of Fallout. I'm also a huge fan of these little tiny horses that we call ponies. And they happen to live in a place called Equestria. Mash those two things together, and what do you get? You get Fallout Equestria, which I am a huge fan of. You might have seen a video I've done about it, maybe once or twice. In fact, I may have done a lot of videos about Fallout Equestria. However, Fallout Equestria started out as a fanfic, and it's actually had a physical book printing before. Now, um, this I believe was done back in 2012, I think? And it consisted of, I believe, four books. And it chronicled the entire uh, journey of the main character, Little Pip, and her journey throughout the wasteland and her various escapades that happened in said adventure. However, I was unfortunately unable to get that uh, book series and, oh boy, try to find it on eBay. I'm, I'm not kidding. Sticker shock's a thing in that. But, anyway, they did a second printing, which I also missed out on. Because I didn't know it was the thing. I thought they were only gonna do one, but no! They did a second one, and I missed out on it. Yeah. But, they did a spin-off book called Pink Eyes. Now, that one I did do, and I did actually feature it on the channel. And, I actually read the book. It is a very, very good book. Um, I really like how the, uh, the ponies, uh, light, bright and happiness can, uh, contrast the dark world of Fallout. And the books kind of go a little bit darker than any of the games do. Most of the games are kind of lighthearted fun, although they do have elements of dark, dark, grim dark in the world. However, Fallout Equestria goes a little bit deeper with the whole darkness. I believe to contrast, you know, the bright, colorful pastel horses running around the place, shooting people, raping people, and slaving people. Yeah, those are actually things that happen. These aren't for the faint of heart. But anyway, what I have with me today is something very special. I have to remember not to do that. What I have with me today is the third printing of the book. Um, supposedly it is going to be the definitive edition. I don't know if they're going to release a fourth printing of this book. Hoping they do a Project Horizon one because I do want that one really badly. Um, but, to be fair, I've never actually read Fallout Equestria. I've actually watched a lot of the radio plays, which kind of covered about the first chapter or so of the books, uh, or, well, the fanfic. Um, I believe the book is about 625 pages long, although I probably have... This is apparently unedited, by the way. This is not, uh, this is the just straight-up book. Zip. You just, what did you get? Yeah. Um... But apparently it's 625 pages. I have no idea if that's, if they like, if the, the author actually like edited it and was like, nah, let's take out these bits, these bits, these bits didn't work, and stuff like that. Um, but I'm really excited to read this. So, I'm gonna go ahead, open it up, and holy... <coughs> that's a really nice book. Now, this book is actually done in, holy... <coughs> this is a heavy book. All right, wow, this is an ex this is an experience right here. I love handheld books. Like I love books. Books are great. When I was in school, I would read a book constantly. You would never see me without one. And this is a very nice book. This is uh, the pages are actually made and woven from the hairs of the fabrics of horses, and the book is bound by the flesh of horses. Not, not really. Not really. It's actually wood. Like I have here! Oh wait, it's not wood? What's it made of then? Oh, leather? Really? Huh. Alrighty then. It's leather. Not wood. Why do I have this turtle? So yes, the book is actually um, done in leather. It is the, the binding is actually leather. And the pages are actually um, a very lightweight material. They're actually made from the same material that uh, modern-day Bibles are printed on. Um, and you can tell by 
the freaking gold trimming around the dang thing. This is awesome looking. Seriously, this present, the presentation in this is amazing. I love this. Now, there are a lot of uh, things about the book that are different in this one. For instance, there are, throughout the book, there are little portraits of uh, what's happening in the book. Illustrations, I guess you'd, you'd actually call them, not portraits. Um, now, they are in black and white. In, in fact, there is no color in the book. If you're expecting a picture book, I'm sorry to inform you that is not what this is. Um, however, I, I would have preferred the, the portraits or the, the illustrations to be in color. However, um, I'm okay with it not being in color because, you know, from a budgeting standpoint and whatnot, that probably would have cost a lot more. Um, and I'm more, I'm, I'm more happy with having more illustrations and not be in color than having less, fewer illustrations and them being in color. Uh, it's just personal preference. Um, it looks like there's actually a little tassel. I'm going to try and open up to it. Okay, so it's a it's a little red like little tassel thing like you'd see in like a Bible and stuff. Hold your place so that way you don't have to worry about having, you know, your your book being like, man, I really need a bookmark. But oh, whatever will I do? I don't have a bookmark. What am I gonna do with this? You have a bookmark, and it's really really cool. This is a very high quality book, and it retails for about fifty bucks, um, give or take. I know that uh, because of the volume that they actually, uh, people actually purchased this at, it actually uh, went down to about like 44 bucks. But um, I imagine you, you're gonna wanna pick this thing up very fast, like like now. Don't, don't stop watching this, just, just go get it. However, if you can't afford this book or if you don't want to pay 50 bucks for this dead media, then uh, there are very other, various other ways you can actually read Fallout Equestria. You can actually read it online. You can actually read it here on YouTube if you want. Or, well, I guess you could technically have it someone read it to you. But the same thing applies. Now, for size comparison, I've actually got a couple books with me. I've actually got a copy of Red Tail, or Red, Red Wall, good gravy, um, one of my childhood favorite books. And I also have the latest book from M.A. Larson, who, if you remember, uh, actually wrote for My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Um, I've actually got his latest book of Penny Royal Academy, which is uh, one of my favorite recent reads. And um, they are actually, for size comparison, they are very, very thin compared to uh, compared to it. Good gravy. This, uh, wow. I mean, Redwall, it's a small pocket book, honestly. Like, it's... It's a very small book, so it's it's not gonna be nearly as thick. But for size comparison, it's it's very big. The book is very very big. But yeah, this is a wonderful wonderful addition to any Fallout fan or Fallout Equestria fan. If you happen to be a fan of both, that'd probably be preferable. But this is a wonderful addition to any fan of My Little Pony. Now we actually get a little card in the package as well that I forgot to mention. Um, and it actually has a bit of a spoiler that I'm not going to read, but uh, needless to say, like I said before, this book is not for the faint of heart. There are various amounts of um, rape, there are various amounts of molestation, there are various amounts of murder and gore and everything under the sun, if you can think about it. It's probably in here. Um, especially if pink eyes is any indication, there are you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of feels. You're gonna have a lot of a lot of feels. Good gravy, I had a lot of feels with pink eyes. Oh, puppy smiles. I love you, girl. But regardless, if you aren't in the faint of heart and want to give it a shot, I will leave a link in the description down below for the book printing website, and I will try and leave a link in the description down below for the fanfic itself. Though finding that thing is gonna be a little bit hard. It's probably on like some fanfic website or something like that. I'm probably gonna find it. Um, I will also put cards up uh, throughout the video showing uh, or going to the radio play that I actually listened to. I'm not sure if they're still doing it. I think the team kind of broke up uh, after the the initial thing because like they only got to about where little Pip uh, frees some slaves from uh, some raiders at, uh, at Golden Oaks or not Golden Oaks. Uh, is it Golden Oaks Library? I've forgotten Twilight's Library. Twilight's Library. Twiggles Library. The Library of Twiggles. Not the castle. Library of Twiggles. This happens 
the apocalypse happens way before Princess Twi Twiggles comes into the scene. Um, but anyway, I'm Ultramag64. If you enjoy Fallout Equestria as much as I do, hit the like button down below and uh, tell me what's your favorite character from Fallout Equestria in the, in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side with more crazy content and more Fallout Equestria in the future. Man, I just... I love this book. This, this is gonna be a good read. I'm gonna read this thing. You think I'm not gonna read it. You think it's gonna go on a bookshelf, but no. I'm gonna read this mofo. I'm gonna read it and read it good. Man, the cover's just so beautiful. Everything about this book's beautiful right now. I'm in love with this book. I would marry this book if it weren't a thing. Don't go! Don't go! I'm so lonely! I only have a book for companionship! Don't leave me!